What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster. This is episode 19 now on the series. In the last episode we created this ride right here, the Pelican, which is not a Pelican at all. It's actually a stork. I don't know why I called it a Pelican. I'm assuming because I saw the giant beak on the front and I just sort of said it was a Pelican. But still a good name for the ride. If we were to call it the stork, we wouldn't be able to fit that on the sign. The sign has to be seven letters. We could, of course, shorten it to just a few. What is stork? Five? Is that five letters? But uh, I didn't really see the need to do that. So what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be adding a another ride, which I'm sure the thumbnail shows what we're going to be doing there. But we're also going to be getting rid of Looper. And I think I may adjust the Pelican just slightly. I'm not sure yet. That might be an episode at a later date. But you guys know this little block section, not exactly what you're supposed to do here. You should be placing the block sections around the track, not all in one big group like they are here and like they are over here on the Acrobat. So we will change that. I just don't know if that's going to be this episode or maybe another one later on. But this ride right here, Looper, sucks. Literally no one wants to ride it and I don't think it has anything to do with the fact that we don't get a ton of foot traffic over here because the Swings of Death or Sundance has a pretty good queue. People do line up for this ride and uh, really quick I do want to show you guys this. Look at that. This thing at night looks so dang cool. It's got lights all the way up to the top. And I just really, really love this. It looks like a big neon sign. I think that is so sweet. But anyways, I think we're just going to go ahead and get rid of Looper. I mean, look at this. People walk by it all the time. No one wants to ride this thing. It has a great queue scenery. Wait a second. What? Uh, <laughs> the wear and tear is down completely. Maybe that's why no one's riding it. Hang on a second. Let me get a mechanic out here and we'll see if this changes anything. I never noticed that. I never noticed that. Maybe that's the reason why people don't ride it though. Well, it only has a prestige of 580, which isn't the best. And no one, no one even says anything about it. Multiple rides are broken down. Uh-oh. Okay, Sundance for starters. We'll do a refurb on Sundance. The Pelican broke down and Kickflip broke down. So we'll get a refurb on all three of those. But even still after we did the refurb, it doesn't look like that helped at all. So we're gonna go ahead and hit pause here. And I think we're just gonna straight up delete this thing. Boom, gone. All right, so we still have the priority queue over here. I don't think that should go away just because we deleted it. But I do have an idea for a ride that we can put here. That's too big, that's not the one. The Hellion Ring. I think this will be the perfect fit over here. So we just have to line this up kind of in the same place that Looper was in. If I can get this to work. There we go. Something like that ought to do. Now we just have to place the entrance in a similar location. We'll do the entrance right there. And the exit will be over here. We will have to delete this path, I think. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we can just do that. I don't really care for this little bit there, but that's okay. No one else but me will see that. Well, and you guys, but hopefully you guys don't care either. So we're going to make the station or the area that it's in. We'll make that wood. And then let's figure out this queue. I think we use 13 foot wide paths here. So let's bring that out one more and then we can connect it up just like that. All right. What is our, Ooh, that's not good. 387. How can we improve this? that because Q scenery rating is a hundred percent let's go into operations we'll change this to full load change the min and the max get rid of that enable the priority queue and we'll turn it on high priority that's all looking good so we have a couple of animations here let's see what all we can do forward loop backward loop swing and swing stall we'll test this out maybe that'll be a little bit better just changing that a little bit it was like 380 something to begin with so we'll go ahead and play this out and we'll see what happens while the ride is going. We could customize it. God, super high broke down. Jeez, 682 bucks to fix that thing. Tea bags broke down. Literally all of our rides break down at least every five minutes now. Just because, yep, there goes another Skies. Uh, we'll refurb that. But they all break down just because most of them are in the sort of classic status. Let's see the prestige on that now. 542, so it went up slightly uh let's see what could we 
possibly do to get the excitement up a little bit go into sequence again i wish this had the sort of heat map that we could put excitement on here like we do with the coasters um we could just make the ride a little bit longer we have quite the queue out here so let's add four more sequences we'll do another forward loop backward loop swing and swing stall or stall swing jesus i'm dyslexic and then we'll uh We'll test this out and hopefully that does a little bit better. This ride's wild, dude. I don't think I would want to go on this. I feel like it'd make me way too nauseous. I don't really love going in loops. Loops on coasters, totally cool, but loops on uh, on something like this, just a constant loop, I don't think so. All right, we got two notifications. Skies has been fixed, super high has been fixed. I think that is everything we needed there. So I totally forgot to mention this, you guys. I'm gonna go regular simulation speed here. Off camera, just before I started the recording, I did add a new path over here. You guys may remember we had the exit path over here for Pelican, which is actually a stork. Just go out to here and then it sort of followed this a little bit and curved back over into the larger path. Well, I got rid of that and I did a large 33 foot path from here all the way around behind Sundance, behind formerly Looper, now the Hellion Ring, behind this, and all the way back over to the main path that we had at like the end of episode four or episode five, something like that. So now everything does flow a little bit better. There was a pull here from the chairlift right in the middle of the path and it wouldn't go away. So I edited the chairlift a little bit and uh, just added two poles instead of one to get that thing out of the middle of the path. Let's go over here. It looks like the test is done. Did it make it worse? It made it worse. Wait, no it didn't. It's 496 now. And how long does it take? Doesn't it show us somewhere how long it takes to actually complete? 253 seconds. So really not that bad. What are these rides over here? 154, kickflip I know is pretty long, 236, insanity 147. I'm not mad about the length. I think the length will be okay at 253. That seems to be about the average around the whole park. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Maybe people will actually ride this sucker now. We do need to do a little bit of quick maths here. 496 divided by 35 is $14.17. So we will charge 14, 14, 17. We could do 14 flat, but I like to add a little bit of change in there. I've been challenged to reach a million dollars in the park now, and I said that that was super easy. Also, to the gentleman that commented, I still don't know if your name is Kyle Rim or Kyler I'm like Kyler I am. Anyways, that's beside the point. You can let me know which is which. But he challenged me to make a million bucks in the park. And I said that was super easy. And then he came back and said, ah, let's make it a billion. Now a billion's gonna take me a long, long time. A long periodically time. So I think I will shoot for a million. I think a billion is probably a little out of our reach here. 926 for refurb on Thunder. That is definitely worth it. That's one of our best coasters because it doesn't have a block section. Unlike these two over here, everyone hates sitting. Look at their faces if you can see them. They're all like exhausted from just sitting. Look at these guys. They're gonna come back super happy and wait for it. It's not gonna take long. Boom. Sadness everywhere. Everyone is pissed. Insanity broke down. That doesn't need a refurb. That like just happened. Oh, wait a second. Yes, it does. Yep, that's really bad. There we go. Insanity is one of our worst there. So it looked like a couple of people were walking in to the Hellion Ring. I'm going to call this one the Circle. Why does Circle look so weird? Is that not how you spell that? Anyways, Circle of Death and Destruction. No, we'll just do Death. Okay, perfect. And I actually, you know what? I think the colors are probably okay. We might be able to adjust the flames on the side so there's no blue in there. Let's see, what does this change? That's the blue, so maybe we make that orange? Change that to orange. The red, of course, we'll still have red, but it'll be bright red. The orange here, ooh, let's do that. God, white looks pretty dope. Let's do white there and then this orange will be yellow it looks more like a fire now right it goes red hot in the center orange to the outside and then yellow on the tips 
We could also do blue tipped fire as if we have like some copper in there. I don't know. That doesn't look bad. I kind of like the yellow though. Let's, let's just stick with the yellow. All right. Operator colors. We'll just do a same or a similar thing here. A same thing. God, I'm an idiot. Does that look good? Oh, dang, dude. Look at the, the golden shoes, gold belt. These people are gonna rock some Gucci. And we just have to change the ticket handler. All right, everyone over here is set. Let's fast forward a little bit, see if we can't get a couple more people in here so we can at least get the ride to move. We do have it set for full load, so it's not gonna go anywhere until the full train car is all filled up with people. We're on year 22 now, guys. We have 565,000 bucks, and we are actually surprisingly enough, making money on our shops and facilities now. We're at 4,700 bucks, uh, 28,000 for rides and tickets, and we are losing 19,000 on the park management. And that's because we have, oh, we got a research to reveal. We have these going at all times now. All of these market, uh, what is what is this called? It's just marketing, duh. All of these marketing campaigns are just steady moving. So we've spent, or I guess we're spending $15,000 a month on the actual marketing cost. Lifetime, we've spent $447,000 on marketing. So if we didn't spend the money on the marketing, I feel like maybe we'd already be at a million, but that's okay, we can let this run out. Over here under research, let's go ahead and reveal that new coaster, the Enigma. That one looks cool, actually. I, I sort of dig that. The last one that we had was the steepest drops or something, and that actually looked pretty dope, too. Go into custom. It is called the Atheon. Athon. But anyways, it's huge. It fits a ton of people, and I'm sure with a block section, that would look even more BA, because I don't swear on the channel here. All right, now for the reason you're all probably here... Let's make sure all of these are good to go. Sweet, looking good. We're gonna be adding some bumper cars. And I think we're gonna put these, since there's honestly no space anywhere else in the park, we've kind of filled it up. I think we're gonna put these over here. So let's go under rides, sort by price high. I think it's further at the bottom, the bumpin' derby. Not very high on the excitement. Nausea's pretty solid. Let's go ahead and uh, rotate this sucker around here. And let's just put this as close up to the main path as we can without it looking too weird. And just in the corner, just like that. I think that looks perfect. All right, entrance. Oh shoot, where do we wanna put the entrance? So people are gonna flood in. It looks like they can just run on anywhere. I don't think there's a proper like queue line once you get into the ride so let's go ahead and just put the entrance over here and the exit about there looks pretty center so the only problem is i don't know if this will work we'll try it we'll see if people can actually exit this thing anyways we will start over here turn angle snap back on with the queue now i think i'm just gonna do something real simple here i don't want to get it uh too crazy we'll do that and then have the entrance come off of right there Perfect. All right, now without a test, let's see what the prestige is. A 255, that's really, really low. Q scenery rating is, uh, is a 10% decrease here. We can fix that later on, not super worried there. All right, now for the coloring of this thing. White looks bad, but it probably only looks bad because of the accent colors. Oh, this changes the cars. This is how we color the cars. Well, in that case, I want 2G colors over here. What do we think about that? Also, the pink looks more like a purple, but I think that's just the way it's gonna be. And the, the yellow adds like a green tint to it. So it's not gonna be the prettiest thing in the world, but at least we'll have some 2G colors on the top, I guess. That looks nice. And then let's do the operator colors. Where's he at? Oh, he's covered anyways. No one's even gonna see him. Bumper car medley, okay. So let's make this, obviously we have to do full load, but I wanna make it as long as possible without it taking forever. So let's bring the priority queue off of this section here and the exit for that we'll do as close to the front as we can. Right there looks good. All right, we'll just connect these two up and we should be ready to rock and roll here. There we go, connect that there. And that is the priority queue finished. 
Let's go ahead and open this up. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, there's only two sequences right out the gate. So I'm gonna add a fourth. I'm gonna add two more to make four. We'll test this out, fast forward through it, get our test dummies in there, bumping around. It was like a 250 something, I think from the start. So maybe adding two more sequences, it'll be a little bit better. I can only hope. All right, stop the test. Let's see what our prestige is now. 421, that's better. I'm gonna stick with that. I don't want the ride to be too long to the point of where the queue is full at all hours of the day. So let's do 421 divided by 35, 12.02, $12.02, $12 there we go. All right, let's open this thing up and we'll see if people start to go over here. 420 Blaze It has uh, broken down. All right, now let's do the advertised destinations. Of course, this should get us to 49. No, that is 50. Okay, so we actually, oh, duh, because we deleted Looper. We had to add the uh, Hellion Ring back in there. So there we go, that is all of the advertisements we're gonna be able to do for that sign now over here at the information booth we're going to have to advertise the whole park once more select everything that's 49 out of 50 confirm that all right and tornado broke down oh hammer time broke down all right that's fine tornado broke down that's also fine i don't want to take away from the other work rosters that we have so i think i'm just gonna have to make a new one and uh since it is in the northwest i'm just gonna call it the northwest west let's reveal this research we have the torque coaster that is a new coaster daredevil dragster and flawless design. Let's get going on both of these for 3,000 a month. There we go, many, many coasters yet to be added to the park. We have a ton more room around here. So let's go into work rosters. We're gonna create a new one. And uh, as of right now, it's just going to be this ride. Insanity broke down again, okay. So this will be the Northwest West area. I don't know what else to call these work rosters, guys. It's just gonna be the Northwest West. So for this area, okay, scoopty loopty hoopty, everything is breaking down. The circle of death has broken down. No mechanic assigned to refurbish. Oh, that's right. Okay, so before I get too far ahead of myself, the Northwest area, we have to add, that is this area over here, we have to add this in to the selection so we'll have a mechanic available to actually fix this thing yeah it's two minutes overdue its inspection that's probably why it broke down all right but i do want to see if people can actually exit the bumper cars we only got one car that's not being used that's pretty good make your way out of here perfect it does work beautifully done okay now there's nothing else over here so People are just gonna start walking over here solely for the bumper cars. So we're gonna add a bathroom block, I think over here. And we're gonna make this one stupidly similar to all of the other ones that we've done in the past. And that is just make a box and put some poles, some columns around it, and we'll call it a day. So we need four of these around the outside and we'll get, uh, shoot. That's not gonna work, is it? Because we have to get the roof on there first. Panel roof flat, that will go there. Back into columns. This is where we get the smaller columns here and uh, we get them to stick out just a little bit, just like that, that, and that. Perfect, all right, so this will be our restroom right here. We may also need an ATM, but I'll add that later on. For now, let's just get ourselves a restroom. There we go. We're gonna be done editing that building for now. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves an ATM and we'll put this, well shoot, I wanted to put it at a similar angle, but we're gonna have to do a little, uh, little free building here. We'll drop that down there and then let's just build around it really quickly. Shouldn't take too long. All right, and there we go. We got an ATM over here as well. Now what I'm gonna do is duplicate this building right here and I'm going to place it down right back here. Now, since we already have a restroom block over here, I don't exactly want that. So let's go ahead and edit the building get rid of the bathroom and we'll add in a staff room because we are going to need a staff room for all of our staff that we're gonna to have to add out here. There we go. All right, done deal. Now it's just a matter of adding more staff. Staff members can't find, um, you should be able to. It seems like we got three, two, two, two. We should be fine. All right, so we are going to need a 
another mechanic for out here. Honestly, I could just get another mechanic to come out to this area, but we will be adding more rides later on in the future, so I don't want to overwhelm one mechanic. All right, so we'll drop him down here. We will grab uh, two more janitors. All right, don't go very far, guys. Two more security officers. Or actually, yeah, let's get let's get two more security officers. And we don't need any vendors, so we should be good there. We may need another entertainer. Oh, shoot. So we have Gulpy Rex. We have Chief Beef. We have Cosmic Cow. We have King Coaster. Let's get Captain Lockjaw out here. He looks pretty cool. All right, we'll let them drop to the ground. Now, those two security officers that I added should be able to get to this security office without a problem. So let's go ahead and edit the Northwest West work roster right here. So we only have the bumper cars in it right now. We're going to select this building here. We're going to select the ATM, this bathroom block. Make sure we still got that selected and the staff building. And that should be about all we need out here for the time being. So let's go ahead and save that work roster. Now under our security officers or security guards, Waldo Grove and Emmanuel Burdick. I promise you I did not change his name. That is his birth name. 125, 125. All right, so we're gonna be paying these guys $125. I know they're not fully trained up yet, but let's go ahead and make sure that their colors are all good. Okay, now that we have his colors adjusted, let's go ahead and make sure that he's gonna do everything we need him to over in the Northwest West area. Actually, you know what? We could call this the Northwest Weast area. That's a SpongeBob reference. I'm sure most of you are aware of that. All right, so Waldo Grove is all set. Let's go to Emmanuel Burdick. Bird, you know what? I gotta do it, guys. I gotta do it. Emmanuel Burdick. <laughs> That is just beautiful. All right, so the heat, that's gonna be his his new birth name. And uh, let's change his outfit, change his roster to the Northwest West. All right, he's all set. Now for the mechanics. I guess I could just be clicking on these guys, couldn't I? Mechanic dude bro bra. Well, no, cause I don't know what we're paying everyone. So let's see, 200 bucks for the mechanics. Harland Huang, Huang. That's too hard to say. Um, it's just gonna be Harlan Wang. Work roster, northwest west, white helmet, uh, I think it was orange jumpsuit, like a prisoner, and then it was black accents on his jumpsuit, and then I think white gloves. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's what we do there. He should be all set, Harlan Wang. Janitors, we got two more of them, Hilton Hayden and Joseph Parrish. Joe, no, I'm sorry, Joe Pay, Joe Pay, Joe, Joe I don't know how to say that. We're just gonna go with um, Jose. There we go. I wish I could get an accent over the E, but we'll have to live with that for now. So these guys make 125 bucks an hour, just like our vendors. And we'll change his work roster to the Northwest West. Now these guys have different outfits. Each one is rocking a different fit. So do we have yellow yet? I know we have orange. I don't know if we have yellow. We'll have him be yellow for now, I guess. All right, that's Jose Parrish. Now let's do Hilton Hayden, Northwest West. He will be pink. No, we already have a pink. We already have purple. We could do a new color. We could try to make like a, a maroon, I guess. That'll work. All right, and entertainers, Captain Lockjaw, he's our new one. Put him on the Northwest West and he makes 200 bucks a month. Perfect. All right, let's play this out. Oh, wow, we did the we did the janitor's dirty. That's a gross look, dude. There we go. Sorry, boys. Now you look better. Two barrels right there. Let's grab some benches. We'll do one, two, three, and one, two, three. There we go. All right. So this is just the beginning, guys, of the new addition area, I guess, to the park. Hopefully it ends up working out the way I want it to. But if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.